Hi everybody, it's Heidi with The Weathered Fence Post and welcome to our channel. Welcome back to our channel if you're already subscribed. If you're new here to our channel, my husband Steve and I are resellers in the Raleigh Garner, North Carolina area. At this time, we currently do not sell online because we have full-time jobs and we run two different booths over the weekends. So we just don't have time to manage online sales properly. But we do have, like I said, two booths, one at Antiques at Gresham Lake in North Raleigh and one at Collected Treasures in Garner. So if you're ever in the Raleigh area, we would love it if you did stop in and visit at our booth. Okay, what we love to do on this channel, I hope you enjoy this, this is gonna be a good one. What we love to do on this channel is we'd love to take you hunting with us and then we'd like to go over the haul. This video is actually gonna be a combination of the both. I usually split them up. I usually either do a hunting video or a haul video, but on this one I'm gonna do, in the beginning, a little bit of hunting and a little at the end, a little bit of the haul. And that's because Joanne with Bat Thrift Crazy and I went to a hoarder sale this past, estate sale this past Sunday. It was pouring down rain. We were just drenched by the time we got out of there. Not because the sale was outside, but just hauling stuff to our car and back. But it truly was a hoarder sale. And I almost kind of hate that word hoarder. Um, we don't know what's going on in these people's lives. They may not have been hoarders. They may have been collectors and maybe their health started to fail and they were unable to manage their collection well and it maybe it was the only thing that brought joy in their life was to be able to still shop online and bring these items into their home. I can tell you that this person had a great eye, they had good taste, oh, everything that I picked up was good at, you know, hot, good high-end quality stuff and it was all still packaged in its packaging so it's been preserved, never been used uh, most of it, not all of it, but most of it was. And we heard that, they I think they shared with us that the home had actually been closed up for about five years. So you would think that things would smell musty or have that weird smell to them, and they just didn't. Um, I've been in homes that haven't been closed up for five years and experienced that much worse, and just didn't experience that there. I, I checked everything over, everything was in good condition, there wasn't water damage, there wasn't... So I think they, whoever... Uh, managed the home was keeping the air and the heat and everything going in the home and which is great because it protected the items inside. Long story short, <laughs> I'm going to take you out with us. I do have a little bit of footage. It was crazy. It was crowded. Uh, there was so much, so much to look at. In fact, they're having a part two this weekend. We're going to go back. It was. It's definitely worth going back. So there was so much to look at that I just did not focus on filming. I focused on hunting. I really did because I really wanted to get some good stuff. Now, this sale will go down as the second sale in the last 10 years that I've gone to that I've spent the most money at. There was a sale that I went to, I don't know, maybe five years ago that I spent about $400 at that sale. Did pick up some furniture at that one, so I can understand that. This one I did spend $300 on the items I'm going to go over. So it's going to take me several videos to get through all of this. So we're going to start, this is going to be part one of the, I, I'm, I'm going to say the collector sale instead of hoarder because I just don't like that word. <laughs> all right, let's get to the sale. Let's check it out. All right, Joanne with Bat Thrift Crazy and I are headed into this estate sale. It's the second day. She's already scoped it out and look, She's brought her Ikea bags. That's a good sign because she usually doesn't bring her Ikea bags. She says she's going to be like me today. But that means that she saw a bunch of stuff in there. She said she thinks I'm going to be a crazy woman. So let's see what happens. Okay, guys, I've been here 37 minutes. I've already filled one bag completely full, and I've got a box that I'm going to look at. Got them here under the hold table. This home is completely packed full of stuff. So I'm not sure how much filming I'm going to get done for you because I want to spend time hunting. I mean, there is just stuff everywhere. And it's a lot of great stuff. So we'll see if we can find more. I'm sure we will. I don't even know where Joanne is at this point. I've lost her. This whole area back here is nothing, I think, but Christmas. Pretty small. And a lot of cool Christmas. So look at that Santa. He's awesome. <clears throat> All kinds of stuff. What's this guy? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's cool. I like that. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna try to film now. Julian said to me, don't film when you first go in. Go in and hunt first. So I listened to her advice. And I'm glad I did, because I picked up a lot of really cute things right off the bat. There are so many adorable pieces in here. So many great pieces. These angels. This one looks like it lights up. That's pretty. These are pretty. I like those. Look at this great big glass one. Oh. It's like a pretty glass one. This angel's pretty. Yeah, we do them higher up. Here's some. Here's an. A witch. Our stuff is now in fact next to check out. Okay. Oh, here's some cloisonne oh, okay. pieces. That's pretty. Oh my goodness, look at them all. A bell. Hat. Another bell. Are these all bells? That's not a bell, that's pretty. Oh, look at them all. There's a whole bunch of them. Get this gorgeous goose carved wooden swan ball. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Love this Santa. Painted Santa. Hand carved tiki. I figured I was close enough to whack somebody. This is gorgeous. Is this somebody's? It's not mine. No, ma'am. Yours. Nope. <laughs> you, who knows what you. It's a beautiful agate what is brass is that, that little piece. Bag oh, look at that. that. It's gorgeous. That's with yes. the uh, wrapping yes. paper. Yes, ma'am. I got you. That artwork's nice, too. That's a good idea to bring the bag. <gasps> I have a trash bag. You want a trash bag? Do you have it on you? I do. I mm -hmm. buy towels for dogs, and I'm prepared. Oh, do you want a bag? Yes. It's like a talavera piece. Did you set this other one here too or not? It's pretty big enough. This piece is nice here. Vase. Portugal. There's so much in here, everybody. I am like beside myself and Joanne was completely right. She's she came and scoped it out yesterday. She's like, you're going to be a mad woman. She's right. Here's some pottery. This is what I've been looking for, some pottery. I like the look of that. Oh. That's a pretty piece. I mean, it's not a spot, it's not signed. It's priced accordingly. Here's a, some uh, Marinette dolls. I guess that's what you call them, Marinette dolls. Those are cool. They're unique. Maybe $12.50 a piece. I have a feeling you can get a bundle deal. Some old books. Six bucks on that. Book of Etiquette. Look at the kangaroo piece. I'm probably whispering a little bit. There's a lot of people here. That's 245. Turtle. That rooster lamp's kind of cool. 
I see a Mrs. Claus up there. I like this. That's nice. I do like that. It's got staining on it. Um, if I'm moving fast with the camera, sorry. This is eight. There's a Harry Potter book for four. Some old pictures. Three. The size of these ice buckets. These things are huge. It's the biggest ice buckets I've ever seen, I think. Wow. These are humongous. They'd be perfect for what's coming up, New Year's Eve. This is pretty. This elephant candle is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's over here? We got baskets up on the wall. Is that our wires? I don't think it is. It doesn't look like it. Yeah. Some wires. This is cute. Oops, excuse sorry. me, sorry. It's cute. That was seventy-five. No, seventeen. I like this. See, I mean, my hands are just going everywhere. There's just stuff everywhere. All right, let me grab a few things here. Just picked up that great tapestry, and then this lady right here. So cool. From 1999, and then her wings go on there. I know my sister would love this. My sister Wendy would love this piece. As soon as I try to put it in the booth, she's going to say, "Oh, are you going to sell that piece? I'll take it." <laughs> and here's some gorgeous stained glass pieces or sun catcher pieces. I'm going to look through these. I like that one. I don't want to be in the way here. I'm going to move some stuff, so I'm out of the way. Okay, so you can kind of see from the little bit of footage that I got what we were dealing with. And that was just, I think I only filmed downstairs. I don't think I filmed upstairs at all. And I understand that there was a basement and they hadn't even begun to bring stuff up from the basement. And I think this next weekend, this coming weekend, I think that that's where that stuff's going to come from. I'm going to start right out with this guy. Now, out front of the house, they had a great big, huge dumpster. Not a small one. It was a big one and they were throwing things away. Um, I think if it had any type what they thought was missing a piece or a part or any type of hint of damage, they were just throwing it away because I guess they just had so much to deal with that that's where they were at. I don't necessarily agree with that at all. Um, I think they could have maybe tossed it in a, uh, you know, into a donation or something pile, but um, so Joanne, it was actually Joanne who said, I, I'm gonna, get a couple things out of that dumpster and it hadn't started pouring down heavy rain yet it was just starting to and uh, I pulled this guy out now he was again covered in plastic so only the base of him which is by the way signed only the base of him was a little bit damp and it's dried out it has no bad aroma or anything I don't really even understand why he was in the dumpster. He is absolutely gorgeous. He's called Noah. He's handmade. And on the back of the tag here, it says Noah. And then it says vintage blanket, handcrafted star, hand carved ark, animals and boats, and lamb's wool beard. So I think this was why he was thrown away. His little star, there was like a... A dowel that was attached to it and somewhere this star was attached to him 
I pulled the dowel out to get rid of it. We're not going to worry about the star. It doesn't have to be with him because he's fabulous on his own. And I just love that his jacket is made from an old wool blanket. This is all hand carved. This is lamb's wool. And his face is just so, I just love it. So wise and so beautiful. It's a gorgeous piece. And it was zero dollars. Likely mostly what I'm going to go over on this video will be Christmas items. And a lot of what I picked up that day was, was Christmas items. Uh, or were Christmas items. Um, and I think that's because they were pushing all that out because they knew the holiday was coming. And so part two, maybe it'll be more of the antique items or vintage items. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I got caught up in the Christmas. So I've got a lot of Christmas to go over here. And even if we don't uh, sell them in our booths this season, that's fine. We'll tuck them away for next year. They're great things. Look at this great Anna Lee. Is this not adorable? And I did find one gentleman was walking around. He had a huge bag full of Anna Lee's, a whole huge bag. So I know he got a great deal. This one is from 2010. Just a cute little cat sitting on the ribbon candy. I love the ribbon candy part of this. And I just think it's adorable. And here's a little mouse. Now he has a little bit of staining on his, I can get that off. I'll just gently wash that off. That'll probably come right off. But here's a little mouse with a great big oversized Santa hat. So cute. With a little holly on his hat. And I absolutely love this one. <laughs> You know me, I'm going to want to keep it, but I'm not going to. I do have an elf collection. <laughs> so I I already picked one out, a little little elf out. And I don't, I think I have a bin. I put a bin aside just of items that we're keeping for ourselves. But I will let this one go. I, the detail on this one's jacket I think is awesome. I love the little, um, I guess they're like, I don't know what they are. But the, the little green and red there, I just love that. And the gold. His little pom-pom hat. I mean, it's just, that is such an adorable piece. All there. And this one is from, I think they are all from like around 2010. This one's 2008. And the mouse was, let's see, I think he was 2010 if I remember correctly. Yeah, he's 2010. This piece you wouldn't necessarily consider Christmas, though you could use it in your Christmas decor. This is the uh, English guard. I, think that I, they, I know they have a specific name and please forgive me because I'm again haven't had time to do all my research I need to do but I'm sure there's a specific name I have had one of these before their eyes actually open and shut they're like a celluloid plastic they're very very nice and uh, a great collectible piece so I definitely grabbed him look at his hat oh love it we have a nativity scene here and on the back, it does say made in Taiwan. It's a little like traveling nativity scene, all wooden. So the box opens up and look, never has been opened. Or if it has the, no, the bag's still sealed. These items have never been opened. They're made in Taiwan. A great vintage piece that has never been used. I just, I love it. Absolutely love it. So somebody's gonna get a, Nice traveling nativity scene. This next piece is one of my favorite pieces that I found there. And one of the things that I'm hoping might still be available when I go back to look a little further, because there were several boxes of Fitz and Floyd there. But this is the one I picked out. And I worked it out. I brought home, I think, around 150 items, 140 to 150 items at $300. That works out to about $2 a piece. Unreal. This piece alone at, was sold at, um, I think it was Steinmart. Yeah, Steinmart. It was listed at $129 at Steinmart and then marked down to $80. So this was bought for $80, still has its box. And it says that it's from the Dapper Rabbits collection. So we'll take a look at it. It is so cute. I, or actually it's beautiful cute, but I just love the goat on this. And it's a planter, absolutely gorgeous, in beautiful condition. The tag is still on it. 
This is a great piece that I am going to be able to bring to the booth and someone is gonna walk away with a beautiful Fitz and Floyd piece for a fantastic price. I'm not gonna charge $80 for this. That was a discount at Steinmark. We're gonna have a discount at the Weather Fence Post because we get out there and we hunt and we find it at a great price so that we can bring it to you at a great price. That's what we do. That is the whole goal is to find new homes for this, not for it to sit on the shelf and collect dust. Look how beautiful that is. I just love this goat. Love it. And the wagon is fantastic. Look at the wheels. Beautiful piece. Very excited about this piece. Another great piece that I found that I'm very excited about is this beautiful cabinet I'm about to show you. I didn't realize because it was it was hanging up on the wall and everybody's looking at the, um, it was in the room where there was a lot of crafts. And this was like sticking up on the wall. And, I, and I don't, I'm not sure if people just weren't noticing it or what. It only had $19 on it. And I'm like, what's this beautiful cabinet hanging on the wall? So I got it off the wall. When I got home, I was able to look around the back of it. And it says, Made in Italy. These things go for quite a bit of money if you research these out. This is a gorgeous cabinet. It's got that beautiful gold gilding on it. It's mirrored. It has glass shelves. It is gorgeous. Heavy, beautiful, in great condition. Has three windows and that beautiful mirror. Just a beautiful cabinet. I'm very excited to bring this to the booth to somebody. Somebody's going to snatch this right up and just love it. Just love it. I have no idea what I'm going to price this at. I mean, I've seen prices all over the place with these. I think the lowest I saw was around $80. I've seen them all the way up to $400. Again, we're not going to charge $400 for this. But I mean, it may I may have to put this at the $60 to $80 range because it is a beautiful, very well done piece. And look at this. Can you believe this? This is still in its original packaging, has never been opened or taken out of its original packaging. We got the cow, we've got the duck, we've got a horse. I know up in the top here, I think there's a bird and maybe another bird here. This is the Fisher Price Animal Sounds Bar. It is from 1987. It was made in the USA. And it says, voice is made in Hong Kong and West Germany on it. That's the bottom of the box right there. And they had it marked at $19. The day that we went was 50% off. So everything that I picked up, I knew was going to be 50% off. Now, it isn't valued at a whole lot of money. I did look it up. Even in the original packaging like this, they, they again, kind of all over the place. Some have sold as high as $40. Some have only sold for $10. So... To me, I think this is a probably about a $15 item. I didn't pay anywhere near the 19 because like I told you, I brought home about 150 items and spent 300 bucks. So I probably spent a couple dollars on this. This next bin, I'm not gonna go through all of these because I, what I count, 30 of them? I think I counted 30 in there. Yeah, there were 30 in there, I think. I'll have to recount them, but I think it was about 30 items, 30 pieces in here. So I'm gonna go through a few and show them to you, but. This was one of the first things that I was picking up and um, really digging for and trying to find every single box that said this on it. Now, they're not all angels and cherubs, but what stood out to me was in 24 karat gold. So that tells me, okay, that whatever it is, it's in 24 karat gold, so it's got some value to it. And then when I look on the bottom of the box, I see that originally it looks like each piece was valued at $15. They had them marked at $5 a piece. I took and boxed them all up and tried to get a one box price. And he said, we're going to pull every single one out. So I had to go through every single one with him. But they gave us a great deal. So I'm, I have no complaints whatsoever. I believe that I will probably be able to sell these for 5 to $8 a piece. So a good part of my money to get back, my investment will come back with these. It may not all happen at once. It may take a little bit of time or it could happen all at once. Someone may come in who wants to decorate their tree in these beautiful gold ornaments and 
and they all come in at once. Now, one of the things that's in here are these. We do live in North Carolina. North Carolina and South Carolina are very well known for golf. And there are these golf balls that are dipped in gold. And these are actual golf balls dipped in 24 karat gold on these little stands. They are ornaments. They can hang. They have a little hook on them that you could hang them or you could just display them this way on this little stand that's also dipped in 24 karat gold. These little stands would be great for those glass orbs that I collect too, or paperweights. And here's the little, I do, do see down here, warranty. Okay, 24 karat golf ball is what it says. And then it says this warrants that this product is a real golf ball. The golf balls are selected and then electroplated in 24 karat gold. So I started looking these items up. Now this is just one of them. This is a golf ball. There's all kinds of items. I actually uh, picked out several to keep for myself because I love them. They're beautiful. I didn't pick out golf balls, but what I picked out were the leaves. I think the leaves are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And they're real leaves that are dipped in 24 karat gold. They're beautiful. Can you imagine these hanging on your tree? They shimmer. They're real gold. They got real gold in them. <laughs> Anytime you can pick up real gold, you do it. Now it's just, you know, the electroplating of it, but still they're just gorgeous. This, I did find a couple of these listed online and one of these ornaments is listed for $18. Again, we won't be selling them for 18. I think I'm probably going to put them at a price point between five and $8 and it'll bring me back more than half of what I invested in that entire estate sale. You know, again, I don't like to be greedy. I don't like to, you know, have things sitting on the shelf collecting dust. It's going to take forever if I try to sell them at $18 a piece in the booth. But if I put five to eight dollars a piece in them, they'll go much quicker and they'll find new homes faster. I don't know if that's blurry or not, but that's one of the little cherubs. There's several of those. I have to show you a couple of the um, shells. The shells are gorgeous. There's not a lot of shells. Look at this. Beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. And again, in great condition. I don't think they ever hung on anybody's tree. The boxes on these are a little bit, they do have a little bit of staining on them, so they may have been somewhere where they but they don't have any weird aroma or anything. Look at this shell. This is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Now this, the shell, I, the shells I might put 10 on because I only have a few of those and they are just beautiful. But can you imagine if somebody is a golfer, or somebody has a golfer in their life, they, uh, they could give them an electroplated golf ball. They probably would love that. All right, let's see. This one is a fighting conch, I believe. No, that's a ball. There's a fighting conch in here somewhere. This one says it's an apple. Yes, it is. It's an apple. Let me see if I can find that other okay. shell. Found it. I think this is a fighting conch. A Florida fighting conch, I believe. Beautiful. And it's, it's an actual, I know I've collected those shells and it's heavy, but yeah, this is definitely a shell that's been dipped in 24 karat gold. <laughs> Beautiful. In case you ever wanted a walnut dipped in 24 karat gold, I have a few. <laughs> I just wanted to show you what I was talking about. And you could use those stands to put your paperweights on if you collect paperweights. But I mean, the, the golf ball kind of goes with the stand, so I'm not sure I want to split them up, though I could. I probably could, because the golf ball is designed to be an ornament, so I could sell these stands separate for uh, paperweights. Just a thought. We do pick up new stuff that especially is in its package still, has never been opened. This is a multifunctional Bluetooth stereo boombox. Insignia, Steve, I think, told me this is uh, Best Buy brand. 
and I looked it up. These are selling between, they're valued at between 25 and 30. That's where they're selling. So I said yes to it. Somebody would love this for a Christmas present. Okay, I have about maybe eight to 10 more items here and that'll wrap up this video. So this again will just be part one. I've got at least two more bins to go through and then the whole bin that I set aside for myself. So we got a lot to look at just on this first trip to the sale and we're gonna go back this weekend and I imagine, oh boy, I imagine I'll be picking up a lot more this weekend. This was a set of three. They're contemporary, nothing, um, you know, old or vintage about these. I'm not gonna say nothing special about them because I think they're beautiful and they look like a tassel, but they're candle holders and it's a set of three. I can't hold all three in my hands, but it comes with these two that would go on the side and then that center one. So I picked those up. I love these pieces. They're so adorable. They're made from mud works, handmade pottery mugs. Here's a Santa. Gorgeous on a turned on a wheel. You can see that and look at this guy. He's awesome <laughs> Doesn't he just make you smile? Doesn't he make you joyful? <laughs> I love him Can't pass up Garfield always going to pick up a Garfield now. This is a tie. It says happy holidays Garfield and the date on this is 2005 Holding his present with his little Santa hat on Probably going to butcher the name of this. This is called a Dagmara and it was handcrafted in Poland. I'm going to pull it out so we can take a close look at it. Beautiful, beautiful piece. It looks like it sold for $10 when it was brand new. Look how beautiful this is. Very delicate. Oh, look at the bunnies and the sparkling berries on the tree. I love this. This is gorgeous. And it's got a beautiful tree on the back. What a beautiful, beautiful ornament. Here is a great Santa bucket. Coca-Cola, drinking his Coca-Cola, made in the United States. Looks like it's never been used. The plastic is still on this handle, still intact, never been cut off. So the handle doesn't have any type of scratches or mars. The, the knob on the top is good, the interior is good. This is like a, I can't explain what, it, I don't know what, it's, what you would call this, almost like a velour. It's not a velvet. Is it like a velour? I don't know. But it's a really cool texture on the uh, bucket itself and the lid. Love it. Great for the holidays. And inside were these uh, four coasters, Santa coasters, Coca-Cola Santa coasters with different scenes on them. These say that they are Connemar Incorporated out of Ocala, Ocala, Florida. So a great set of coasters. And I did pick this one up and I made a mistake on this. I try to stay away from ornaments that have dates on them because it's date specific and somebody may not be interested. I did catch that that said 2007 on it. I was focused in on the Christmas and the joy love piece. And the fact that this was a Lennox and originally it cost $36. So, you know, it's specific to somebody who would want something for 2007. I don't, or Lennox collector, I guess. So we'll see how that does. I did pick up this little pin. It's just a Liz and Company. I thought it was pretty. Very pretty Christmas tree pin. Very sparkly. Love that. And then I picked up this Monet. It's not connected in the box, but there's the box and it's this angel pin and it's a Monet. By the way, that Liz and Company, that pin was $18 new and the Monet was 22 marked down to 11. The last thing I'm gonna go over are a few shirts. Again, these aren't anything high quality. It's a ruby red. It's a size 1X. I want to get them washed up. I don't think they've ever been worn, but they've been in that home for five years, so I do want to get them washed up. I love the Christmas tree present. Christmas present tree, I guess you'd call it. I think that's really uh, clever, the way that was designed. And then this one is a Capagallo. Also, this one's an extra large. 
just a cute holiday treat, holiday tea. These are really soft. So I'm gonna get these washed up and in the booth in case somebody wants one. And then there was one more here. This one, I love it with the sparkly reindeer on it. All the beading, so cute. And I think I might keep this one for myself. This one might be for me. That's it for this video. It was probably a little long between my intro, the, the hunting and the, all the items that we just went over. But I have a lot more to go through, so we're going to have a part two, part three, and if we go back this weekend and get more, there might be a part four or five. Who knows? It might just go on and on. We're just going to knock it out here at the end of the year and just get our hunt on. How about that? Okay, everybody, I hope you're doing good. I hope you're enjoying these videos. I hope you like the things that we're finding and helping find new homes. And if you like the video, if you're here for the first time, please subscribe. Go ahead, like it, share it comment. I do try to get back to everybody's comments. And uh, until we uh, see you again, or I get back on here with some more stuff, everybody take good care of yourselves.